Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex, and the topic for this video is how to be a receiver. What happens within the tantric sex practices very often is that instead of being a mutual exchange of energy when you have sex and you are both engaging into the being active in that, one of the, the partners is going to be passive and be the receiver and the other person is going to be the giver. So the giver might be, uh, you know, giving a massage, uh, activation of uh, the genitals, lingam massage, yoni massage. It might be all sorts of things. It might be a more gentle healing touch. You know, it might be just holding space and sitting there next to the person who is going to feel uh, Kundalini activations. So this kind of uh, tantric sessions that you can have are extremely powerful because it allows you as a receiver to totally surrender and as a giver also to position yourself in the place where you're holding space and really activating your lover or your partner. So the, the topic for this video is how to be a receiver. If you are the one who is receiving this uh, energetic, sexual or healing gift, how are you going to position yourself so that the session is extremely successful? Step number one, you have to surrender. You have to accept the fact that you are not going to be the one controlling the session, directing it and taking an active part. You are going to be passive. So that's the step number one. It is to really allow this to happen. And some people are not very comfortable with being the receivers because giving up and being the receiver means that you really have to trust the other person. And this forces you to uh, in a space of surrendering in a way. The second important point to understand is that you don't need to reciprocate. While you are being the receiver, you don't need to touch your lover, partner, or the person who is giving you uh, that, who is being the giver. You can totally surrender. You don't have to engage. You don't have to, uh, you know, to play with that person. The third important point is accept to be guided. You know, if you are uh, receiving a session from somebody who is uh, tantrically trained, who is already skilled, who is a dak or dakini, accept the fact that that person is going to guide you through some practices and inspire you to, to explore certain aspects of your emotions or certain touch or, you know, different aspects of what they are there to, to give. Um, another point is really to allow, allow the emotions to come out, allow the feelings to come out. If you have to make sounds, very often you will be uh, inspired and encouraged to, to voice what is coming out. So allow these emotions and these feelings to flow into your system rather than staying stacked in your head, judging what's happening and being extremely locked. Okay, Allowing means that you, you breathe and you allow this uh, flow of energy to, to, to take over and flow through your, your system. Another important point is that you do have boundaries. Uh, if somebody is uh, talented in giving sessions, in offering and being the giver, and also when you are with your lover, you can decide before you engage into a session what are the boundaries. And very often a traditional way of, of expressing the, those boundaries, if, if I am the giver and I have a receiver here who is ready to receive from me, I'm going to ask the question, are there any parts of your body that you would like that you don't want me to touch. Uh, what is your intention? Do you need healing? Do you need sexual activation? Do you, are you looking for pleasure? You know, what kind of, what is your intention right, uh, right here? And uh, when I'm with uh, um, a lover, these are the questions that I'm going to ask, even if it's somebody that I already know really well. Um, What is important there is to create precisely a sense of safety. So the person who is the giver will be able to hold that space. I will talk about the, the role of the giver in another video. So, um, you know, you can watch this, that video on my channel as well. Um, another aspect which is important is once you set up the boundaries, just relax and trust. Okay. So um, when you are the, 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 the receiver, it's important not to interfere too much with what the person is doing. You know, they might be flowing in a certain way. You don't have to take control. You don't have to micromanage what they are doing because otherwise you're interfering with that flow and become the active uh, part in, in, that, uh, in that session. Um, something that is important as well, it is that you have the power at any time in the session, and this is an agreement that you must have also with, 
uh, with your giver, it is to, to say pause or stop. If it's becoming too much, too energetic, for whatever reason, you are not comfortable with what's happening there, or there is just too much energy that you need to process and you need to take a break or hold back, and it's okay to voice that and check with the person who is the giver to allow you to relax and, and, uh, and pause for, for a second. Um, it's uh, and you can also you know you have to check that with with the giver, uh, but very often it's uh, it's very useful also to give some hints or have some feedback. So if a giver is really talented in, in giving you a session, and um, he or she will uh, check in with you, make eye contact. Are you okay? Is this okay? What's happening there? Do you have any wishes or any desires? Is the pressure right? You know, so they will check here and there with you. It's the idea is not to micromanage the session, but to have some kind of check-in every few minutes to to make sure that what's happening is in line with what the person is expecting. And if you are in the in the position of the the receiver again, um, it's okay here and there to just voice to express. If you are experiencing pleasure, just voice it. Say, "Wow, that, this feels really good. The way you are touching me now is really working for me." Okay. So offering a little bit of feedback here and there uh, can be very, very useful. It doesn't mean that you're talking about what's happening all the time. No, it's like just some hints here and there. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. This is really working for me. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to record a video now on how to be uh, the giver. Have fun.